Let's do the, uh, the, imp the final impression. Okay, so. Impressions of Blade and Soul. This game we're releasing you, I don't know. Impressions of Blade and Soul. The combat feels fun, even though it is also it feels kind of outdated. So it's it's weird. Like it's fun to play. And I guess that's the important part. It feels fun to play, but there are things from older systems like the WoW system where it's like, um you can't you can avoid things, but you still get hit anyway. So, like, it doesn't really encourage moving around and actively dodging and stuff, because you can get hit regardless. The tapping system still exists, and that's a big minus. Not being able to have shared kills, not being able to go and, and help someone kill something and get equally as rewarded as you would with if you would taken it, or you would hit it first. I don't like the tapping systems games. They're not... It, it, it doesn't foster, you know, the communal gameplay, the, the community that games, MMOs should have. The environments, the music, the aesthetics overall are really, really good. Really good. The game looks and sounds amazing. As far as I'm concerned, it just, it looks very good. It sounds very good. It's very, it has good atmosphere. The storytelling also, from what I've been able to tell, <clears throat> is very engaging. It's very well done. Unfortunately for me, the uh, the translation of a lot of things stopped after a certain point, but even still, from what I was able to see, it was definitely, definitely, it, it seemed engaging. I was, in, I was interested, at least. Uh, the questing, it's very run of the bell. The questing is very, bleh, very mad. It's go out and kill ten of these, go out and and find six of these. The questing isn't isn't anything special. The questing is very very bland, very run of the mill. Um other than that, the UI is not the UI is very cluttered, very not so pleasant. But luckily you can customize it. You can customize the UI and it you can make it be what you want it to be. So at least there's that. It may be cluttered, but you can you can fix the clutter by changing it around to what you want. That's I'm trying to think if there's anything else important. With the combat, the combo system's really cool. I do like the combo system. Attention. The lag, that's that's where I'm playing. I, the, the lag isn't an issue. And actually, it seems like the lag got better as I went. Um, but no, I, I, it lagged, but that was that's just where I'm playing from. The, the fact that I'm playing a, the Chinese beta client. Uh, let me see if I, I'm gonna catch up a chat real quick. Yeah, the game, the game is actually pretty, pretty cool, Robinson. Like, overall, overall, I would say if you are interested in this game, Try it out for sure. As far as I'm aware, it's well. Try it out if you have access to it. I am burning. Try it out if you have access to it. It. it I had fun playing it, despite my my beefs with the game. I did. I did enjoy playing it. It was fun to play. Would I stick with the game? Maybe. Maybe I mean the combat system. It, it's fun enough to the point where I would I would want to continue playing it. Would I pick it over say Guild Wars Two if I had to pick one? No, because while I while it is fun to play, I still have more fun in say Guild Wars Two. Yeah. Um. Cool ropes. Yeah. Damn straight rockets. Gen she ropes. Damn clipping. Hell of that clipping. Pp. Pp. If I had to choose between this game and Wildstar, which would I pick? This one, because it, it suits my tastes more. The aesthetics are, are more of my taste. Oh, with the tapping thing, I should probably mention with the tapping, um, or the, the, the mob tapping, bosses do not have the tapping mechanic, which is good, so everyone can join in and everyone can get credit for, for attacking those bosses. So that's there. That is still there. And that's probably arguably one of the most important things to have the tapping mechanic not be existent on is bosses. I think that's it. So yeah, overall, fun game, 
there are some beefs. It has some outdated things. Which probably has something to do with the fact that it, it's essentially an it's effectively an like an 08 MMO because it, it came out in Korea then. It's only now being moved to other other countries. But overall, I would say fun game, worth at least checking out, worth trying. Whether you like it or not, could come down to a bunch of factors. But I'd say overall, at least worth a, worth a look. It is worth trying. It is worth playing, at least for a little bit. I had fun. I had fun playing it. Just like with WildStar, I had fun playing it. I, again, I wouldn't pick it over Guild Wars 2, but still, still fun to play. Still enjoyable. Still a fun experience. And just, I gotta, I have to go somewhere to, to finish off the impression with showing the, uh, the visuals. I believe, yeah, we can go to, let's see, go like that, and we open this map. We're gonna go over here. It does have fast teleport, so there's that. Juma! If anything, you gotta try the game for the teleport animation. You get to do a fucking dance and you get carried away. Yeah. Fuck what's up, welcome, Dapbeard. Dap beard. Yeah, hell, the clipping Uh I don't know if I'll get on Guild Wars 2 tonight, Cyber Rack. I've been going pretty ham on the Guild Wars 2 lately. Alright, look at this. These visuals are, as far as I'm concerned, these visuals are amazing. The music is also really good, as far as I'm concerned. And the fact that you can just fly around. Just hang out, fly around. If anything, this game definitely has the visuals and the environment going for it. It's fantastic. Alright. That's gonna be it for my impression of Blade and Soul. Hopefully everyone enjoyed it, and I am always down to give impressions of various games, various MMOs, various whatever, so feel free to hit me up if you have one that I'm interested in trying out. But yeah, that is that for the Blade and Soul impression. Overall, good game. Give it a try. Would I take it over Guild Wars 2? No. But still worth trying. Still fun. If I didn't have Guild Wars 2, I would probably stick with it.